Yo, hey, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. We're talking about the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. That was a mouthful. <laughs> Here's the thing. It just basically launched yesterday. All the reviews, all the videos are coming out now. And I watched a whole bunch of them from all the different tech creators. And my favorite one was by Marques Brownlee or MKBHD as he's often referred to. And here's the thing, he covered all three phones, but I'm really only interested in the Ultra. So I made a heartbeat and I wanted to show you the best moments from his video, in my opinion, as to what the, you know, what the Ultra has, what are the best things it has. It has crazy stuff coming. It's got new colors. It's got a new camera zoom. It's got uh, a new bezels. It's got, oh geez, AI. It's got five different pieces of AI tech in there built in. It's absolutely wild. So let's go through my heartbeats and let's see what I like. So here we go. Of course, if you want to follow along, you can go to h.ki and then just click on Curtis Pike and you can actually see my moments and my heartbeats that I've selected. All right. So let's take a quick look here at some of the moments that I found most interesting for the S24 Ultra. It looks fantastic. First off, my first moment here, you'll notice it says S24 Ultra Trimmed a little, side rails titanium. What does that mean? Let's click on it and see where we get. Even more tweaked. So again, it looks similar, obviously, but it's trimmed up just a tiny bit. It's just a little bit thinner. And then these side rails are now titanium. So this was very interesting to me as somebody who has an iPhone. I wanted to see what the differences are, A, between my phone and this one, and any other phone like the previous 23, 22, etc. So... Pretty cool stuff. Let's skip forward a little more. You'll notice here that in my moments, it says the screen is 100% flat. It goes to the edges, so I can click on that. And then the next one after that is it's matte in all its colors. So let's go ahead and just click on the first one here. From corner to corner, and I'm really liking it. So you might remember we went from having... So there we go. We've got the screen is flat, and this is an older version, and it goes corner to corner. Now, if I skip forward a little bit more, let's look at the camera. For Ultra, you still get the 200 megapixel main camera, but then uh -huh. a 3x telephoto and then a new 5x telephoto, which is kind of curious, but I actually think it makes sense here. So there's a new 5x telephoto, and if you wanted to watch this a little further, you can always just go to h.ki and click on my profile, which is Curtis Pike, and you can just go through my moments and find the ones that interest you. Now, keep in mind that this is what interests me. I'm an iPhone user. I may consider switching in the future. But again, these are just what's interesting to me. You may have something completely different. Remember to go ahead, install the tool right up here, and go nuts. Now, let's skip forward a little bit and get into the battery life. 5,000 milliamp hour battery with the S Pen slotted in the side as usual. So if you so it is a 5,000 milliamp battery. I was about a split second off of my timing on that one. So I'm going to go in and fix that. And then here is a spec sheet showing you the exact specs for the 24, the 24 plus and the ultra, which is the one I'm interested in. You want all the new specs across the board. Here's a nice little chart we've made for you. So you can pause and see the numbers and the prices and everything. There you go. The price is 1300 bucks for the big one. And yeah, I don't know. Like, I would love to see a comparison video between the new 15 iPhone. I uh, what do they what do they call it? The i15 15, 15 Pro Max, the Pro versus the 24 Ultra. But again, this is just a spec sheet. Let's get going now. Let's get into the stuff that I really find interesting, which is the AI side of things. This this phone has some great features. Don't get me wrong, but it's in the AI where they're kind of blazing a new trail, and this is what separates it from the herd. Let's take a quick look. Most people will find the most useful on this phone is the instant visual search. So no matter where you are on the phone, whatever you're doing, if you just hold down the home button, or if you have gestures, just hold down the gesture bar, you can then either tap or circle something on your screen to instantly Google search it. And it Crazy. This is the first of many AI. I believe this is being run. It has AI. It has Google Gemini running in the background. I believe that's what's running it. And it makes sense. Uh, and look at that. Like you can just draw a circle around something and bang, it will search for it. In fact, if it's like a like a something that you can buy, it will even show you results where you can go ahead and click to purchase. And that makes sense being Google being, of course, making money off that kind of thing. So here we go. Let's go forward now. We're going to move forward a little over a minute and we're going to take a look at their second AI feature, which is the voice recorder. Recorder app 
gets AI. So now it does much improved speaker labels and transcriptions, and it can actually summarize your voice recording after you record into a bunch of bullet points. That's pretty wild, but combine that with the notes and you've got something really cool, especially for you university students and things. So let's take a look at the next one here. Points. The notes app gets AI. Now it can do things like straighten out your handwriting or turn your notes into bullet points or summarize your notes. It's just, you gotta find those little stars and press them. And the Galaxy S24 Ultra feels like it becomes more than just the ultimate note-taking device, but now it's even more useful on top of the already borderline magical handwriting recognition and all that stuff. So there you go. So again, students, or if you're if you're in a lot of business meetings and you wanna make notes and get summaries, this is absolutely crazy. And you combine that with the stylus, that comes packed with it. You can write notes and you can make little drawings and things like that. An incredible use of AI. I would. I can't wait to see how this one uh, works in the marketplace, so to speak. So let's go a little further here. There's another AI, which is live transcription and translation. This is crazy stuff. Check this out. Live transcription and translation audibly in real time as you're having the conversation. So let's say I only speak English. So literally, uh, I'll, I don't want to bore you with the, the details, but you can speak to somebody that doesn't speak your language and you put on the, you install the transcription and translation and it will do that for you in real time. So if I'm speaking English and you're speaking Korean and we're talking, I put this little pack on, this little AI will tell me what you're saying and I will be able to hear it and read it in real time. It is wild. Here we go. Let me show you an example. Your language and the phone will visually and audibly translate what you're saying for the person on the other end. They Amazing. So this is a feature that I don't think any other phone has. And again, this is not so much a phone feature as it is an AI feature. So it's sort of like the integration of AI, but it's amazing to see where this is all going. And then the last one, of course, is what kind of photos can it take? How good is the photo, the video stuff? And there's another AI implementation that's definitely worth a look. Check this out. Photo. You hit the info button with the stars and you okay. can do a couple simple things like add background blur or erase an object in the background or remaster a photo, which seems like it's just doing some color and lighting and balance tweaks automatically. That's cool. It works. I think a lot of people will just find that stuff Fair. useful right off the bat. But once you go into the editor, you'll see in the bottom left hand. Look at this. This is the magic editor. This is my final heartbeat note. Take a look at this one. Magic editor, just like the pixel. Whoa. So you jump in there, you can circle things, highlight things to move around. And of course it's even more precise with the S Pen, but then it literally does the same thing. It takes a few seconds to generative fill the background. It plays a nice. And there's the keyword, generative fill. Generative fill just came out in Photoshop and it is blowing people away. You'll see ads on YouTube all over the place for this amazing piece of functionality. Well, it looks like they've gone ahead and done this in this phone here without needing any of the Adobe uh, requirements or any of the subscription fees. So again, we'll see how this plays out, but if this does what it says it can do, this is a very cool AI implementation. And that is literally my heartbeat moments for the S24 Ultra. Let me know what you think in the description or in the comments below. Thanks for watching.